JFT just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review and daily market review for December the 30th. I am Harlambos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD. I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an, invi an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded lower against all but one of the other major currencies on Wednesday during the Asian session Thursday. It gained only against the Japanese yen while it underperformed the most versus NZD, GBP and AUD. Now, the weakening of uh, the dollar and the yen combined with the strengthening of the risk-linked Kiwi and Aussie suggests that the markets may have turned to risk on at some point. Turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that during the European session, most indices traded in the red, though. Only UK's FTSE 100 gained, perhaps catching, um, uh, catching up the recovery of the other indices, uh, as it was uh, closed since, uh, since December 24th. Now, in, uh, in, in the US, sentiment improved somewhat. Both the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 traded higher but Nasdaq lost some ground. Appetite was mixed during the Asian session uh, today. It seems that uh, some investors may have remained concerned over the, re the record increases in COVID cases around the globe, or they may have just kept closing their books for the year. Some others may have decided to cheer the fact that um, the Omicron variant may eventually not lead to full-scale uh, uh, full lock lockdowns. In any case, with very little economic, uh, with very little on the economic agenda, the calendar is almost empty today, and uh, thin liquidity due to most uh, participants being on holiday, we prefer once again not. Uh, to not read too much uh, into the moves. As, uh, as for our view, we stick to our guns that the latest setback in equities does not constitute a trend, a trend reversal and that there is decent chance for another rebound and new highs, especially in Wall Street. We will not change our, we will not change our view until we see clear and supporting evidence pointing otherwise. However, that doesn't mean that we will trust a long-lasting recovery with closed eyes. Uh, on the contrary, we repeat that we are very reluctant on that front, although the prospect of a full-scale global lockdown may be off the table for now. If the situation wor worsens, several nations may tighten restrictions after the holidays. Also, with most major central banks being in the process of uh, removing stimulus to, ca to counter high inflation, we cannot rule out some decent setbacks in the, in the markets after the turn of the year. Now, as for today's events, the calendar is once again almost empty, with the only data worth mentioning being the US initial jobless claims for last week, which are expected to have risen to 208,000 from 205,000. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much uh, for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.